right, so Olivia is still napping. I'm gonna quickly try to film this postpartum update video and talk about her first week of life. Um, and I'm not sure I'm gonna get her in this video. It depends on if she's awake or not um, while I do this. So if not, I'll be showing her in plenty of videos coming up, so don't worry about that. And I have showed her in a couple of previous videos. You can also check me out on Instagram and see pictures of her. So really quick, I just wanna talk about um, how I'm recovering from my C-section and how she's doing with her first week of life. So officially, we are one week out from the birth today. And so far, I feel pretty good. The first couple of days after my C-section, I was really, really sore. I'm still really sore if I move certain ways. But overall, like if I'm just sitting or I'm walking around, I'm not in a lot of pain at all. And I do have pain meds I can take as needed, but I haven't needed them very much. Though... The part that hurts the most for me is getting up and down from a chair or up and down from a bed. And in bed, I'm still sleeping propped up on my back like I would sleep in a hospital bed. I cannot sleep on my sides at all. It just pulls too much on my incision and on my insides. And I did take a photo of me one week postpartum and I'll insert that here. I'm still pretty puffy and pretty swollen. I feel like after my surgery, I was way more swollen than I was before my surgery. Um, and I'm still able to wear my rings, but I'm still pretty swollen all over. But I feel like I'm thinning out just a little bit better. And I definitely don't have as big a baby bump or anything as I did when I first um, had her. I looked about six months pregnant when she first came out and now it's starting to go back down a little bit. So I am breastfeeding and breastfeeding is going great. My milk has come in. My boobs right now are pretty sore because they're a little bit engorged. My milk, you know, still has to regulate itself. And right now I'm overproducing. I have been pumping once a day and I've been getting about an ounce from each boob. I've only been pumping for a couple of days since my milk came in, I'm engorged. I've got about six ounces in the freezer total, which I was really proud of. I'm just taking advantage of it when it's um, overproducing like that. And other than that, not much is going on with me. I'm not gonna show you guys my incision because it's really, really low. And I don't want to show you guys my private area at all, but it's really low enough that I would be showing you too much. So I'm not gonna show you that, but I will show you guys my belly at some point. I'm just not doing it today because I'm trying to do this video really quick, but I will show you guys my pooch and my stretch marks and stuff. That's pretty much all with me. That's super quick. Everything's great with me. I'm just really hungry and really thirsty all the time because I'm breastfeeding pretty much 24 seven. Um, she is on the boob a lot. So Olivia is doing so great. She had to have her glucose checked when she first came out because she was nine pounds, one ounce, but she had perfect levels. Everything's been great with her. She latches amazingly well and she is a comfort nurser. So anytime she's upset about something, she wants to nurse and that means she's on my boob all the time. I feel like it's just all the time. And she went through a couple of days this week where she just wanted to cluster feed. It's just, she went from boob to boob. It was really good to get my boobs producing the milk, having all that stimulation. But at the same time, it was just exhausting having her suckle all the time like that. And I can definitely see she's a big time comfort nurser. Last night was the best night we had sleep wise. She's just been waking up nonstop and I barely got any sleep most of the nights except last night she had a stretch of time where it was like two hours at a time she would sleep and she didn't wake up all that many times and I was able to get really decent sleep. It was like the first night I feel like I've slept in like two weeks because like a week before my birth I wasn't sleeping hardly at all either. So it was really nice last night. I hope she keeps it up and she's able to sleep good through the night for most nights so I can feel a little bit rested but man I feel so differently after last night having a full night's sleep, pretty much, it feels like. So as far as her, she really likes to suckle. She's just all the time suckling. And as far as soothing techniques, she really likes the swaddle. And she likes the five S's. If you've ever read Happiest Baby on the Block, he talks about the five S's. She is all over that. She totally gets soothed with those. And suckling is her main one. She just loves to suckle. She seems to be a pretty alert baby. She'll open her eyes really wide and kind of look around at things and make the cutest little faces. And I'm totally in love with her and her daddy is totally in love with her. And this week has been great because his parents came to visit. And they've been here most of the week, which has been really, really nice. It's been really nice to just have the extra support 
and the extra help around the house. So we're definitely gonna miss that when they go home soon. So overall, everything's going great with her. She's nursing really well. At her first doctor's appointment, everything checked out really well and she was only four ounces below her birth weight. So she goes back again next week to see if she's back to her birth weight and she definitely should be. Babies are supposed to gain about an ounce a day at this point. I'm pretty sure she is because she nurses all the time. That's pretty much it as far as updates. I will insert some pictures of her because I'm not gonna show her in this video. Her grandparents are watching her downstairs right now and she's taking little naps. And I'll try to do an update next week again. And I'm gonna be probably delayed at putting these up, but I'll try to film them in real time and just edit them as I can. So yeah, that's it. Be sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I share lots of pictures of little Olivia. And be sure to subscribe here so you know when I update. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.